How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Let's Unbox Some Stuff. Spin Master recently was nice enough to send me not one, but two boxes. Two boxes. Black Adam and a Batman Day box. I realized that I may actually be a little off time for the Batman Day box. However, being that it's only been a few days since Black Adam was released in theaters, this box is perfectly timed. Now they didn't really send me the Batman box too late. I've just been far too busy to be able to take a poke around in it and make a video of it. So that's what today's all about. I guess I'll just dump it on the table. Oh no, oh that's, that didn't work out how I thought it would. Just organize this stuff. Okay, so we got a Harley Quinn, and that's fun because it's a Harley Quinn that actually has kind of like translucent y sort of see throughish plastic, which is fun. I've got a Harley Quinn, the regular one, so it's nice to have this one. We have what looks like an armored tech Batman. I'm assuming that's going to be like a tech Batman. We have the Joker. This figure's already been released before, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've already seen it. Same mold, but you kind of got to have Joker on the wave. And then we have another basic Batman, which is cool, though. It's nice that they keep releasing the basic Batman for new people to the line that maybe don't want the variants, and they just want your basic Batman figure. They keep releasing it every wave, too. We also have another Batman here, the 12-inch. We have a couple 12-inch ones to go through. And this one's not given another title. He's got a visor and whatnot. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no secondary title for him, so... Just, uh, we'll call him Visor Batman. We have a Stealth Nightwing, which really, honestly, looking at this guy, to me, he looks like something that you would have seen on Titans. This looks a little bit, a little bit like the Titans version of Nightwing. We have a 12 inch Red Hood in his more modern duds. That's kind of cool, actually. I've never been a huge fan of this look for Red Hood, but I believe that this is the company that's the first ones to do that modern look for Red Hood. No helmet, right? Instead, it's a hood with the thing that we're to face like this. Fan, doodly tastic. I like these 12 inch figures, by the way. I actually collect them as they come out. I think I still need Mr. Freeze. I think that's the only one from this series from the basic characters that I don't have. And then we have Combat Batman. And then the next and final piece from this box is a Battle Strike Batman. Clearly, this one's going to do a little bit more than just stand around looking like Batman. Oh, I get it. You load the Batarang in his hand, yank it back, and then he wings it. He chucks the Batarang. And he, you can press the Bat symbol and it does something. You can't escape Batman. You can't escape Batman. What else does it say? Nice shot. I am Batman. I am Batman. That's him chucking one of his batarangs. That's him chucking a batarang. That's another batarang sound. You can't escape, Batman. Is that it? Okay, so next I'm gonna open up the Black Adam box, but I gotta grab my sharp implement of sharpness to cut it open. All right. Here's Black Adam's box. You got the rock on the front, and it's the same image here. The same image on both sides, and then we have the Black Adam logo on the side, and the top, we have his lightning bolt. Now bear in mind, there might be some spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the movie yet. And I'm gathering that if you're watching this right at the point that I've uploaded it, a lot of you probably have it. So you may wanna skip this part of the video. Don't say I haven't warned you. If you, if you get spoiled from here on in, I have given you ample warning that there might be something in this box to spoil it for you. All right. Cut this bad boy open and have a look inside. Oh, so you got, you got like lightning kind of design all inside of the box. I love the boxes. I love the boxes that you send me, Spin Master. They're fantastic. I actually keep the boxes and put stuff in them later. <sighs> all right, okay. So I'm gonna put the box uh, down here off camera and pull things out one at a time, okay? Here we go. We have Black Adam. This is your basic 12-inch Black Adam figure. We also have your basic 
12 inch Dr. Fate figure. Pierce Brosnan underneath that helmet. I really liked his character in the movie too. We have here a special action version of Black Adam here. It comes with some lightning accessories. And if you squeeze his legs, you get He does an action punch. Okay, now we have some smaller figures. I'm gonna take all these out at once. Ugh. So we have a little teensy Atom Smasher. We have an equally teensy weensy Hawkman. And of course, we have a four inch Black Adam figure as well. So three of the smaller figures, two of the bigger ones, and then one action figure so far. Well, they're all action figures. You know what I mean? He's like, he has, he has an action. All right. And then there's one more item in the box. How cool is that? And it comes with Hawkman and Black Adam figures packed in. I think I want to open this up now. Slicey. Yankee. Flappy. Openy. Fox. So here are the figures. And here's the body of the ship. And here are the wings. Okay, let me put it together for you. I'll be back in a second. Actually, let me put it together, and then I'll put it over there on the review bench. And we'll do a few more photos that you probably haven't seen in the video yet. Okay, and we're back. And I didn't even make you watch me put this together on account of the fact that, honestly, there wasn't a lot to watch. So I figured I would skip that part. And what we're looking at here is a ship that photographs well. And if you've watched the movie, it does actually look considerably, at least in shape, the basic shape, like Hawkman's cruiser. So it's got that going for it. However, where it does seem to be just a little bit off is in scale, because this is more like a Hawk fighter jet, <laughs> and not the big cruiser in the movie. If we open up the back, the first big compartment here, the thing that is akin to the compartment that the arm is kept in in the NASA space shuttle, we can see, oh, that's a lot of space back there. Now, if we try to put the figures in there sitting, well, there's no seats. Like, that's not actually a seat for them to sit in. So you just kind of have to, you know, throw them all in there like that. Now, you can technically sit them down flat on their bum, like this and maybe close it if you're very careful but then you've just got the character rattling around there's no seat belts there is no seats so i'm assuming that this is more of like a like a staging area like a like a play area for the characters that when it's open they can kind of mess around and do things and you know they're on the computer and stuff also side note this actually does make a, a quite nice slide for the characters as well so it does also have that going for it now when we get to the cockpit down here now this is definitely like in the film this is much much bigger there's a lot of space in here like the characters would be like little tiny stick men in there how much room just the cockpit takes up but if we open the cockpit up sure we can see here that we have black adam and he fits in there you know quite quite nicely and he sits for the most part. He's not quite laying down. Like he is in a, a sitting position. And we can close this up. Which is cool. Except for Black Adam doesn't actually fly this. <laughs> it either flies itself for the most part. Or I think we had Hawkman at the, at the controls at some point in the movie. So if we sit Hawkman in here with his feet all the way at the end. And we kind of mash his, his hawk ears down. Then we can kind of you know, fit him in there. It looks kind of uncomfortable, but it can be done. It's a single coop, which leads me to think fighter jet and not the big cruiser from the film. So what do I think about everything that Spin Master has so graciously sent me? The Black Adam promotional box and the Batman Day promotional box. Well, first off, a big thank you. I mean, it's always fun to get product that I didn't have to pay for, and that doesn't happen very often on this channel. So that's a bonus. Obviously, you folks at home know that I collect Spin Master stuff. I generally like to get one of each of the basic characters. I'm not that huge on the variants, but I know that a lot of kids are very big on variants. They can just sell Batman variants all day. 
Remember, I'm of the age for the Kenner Dark Knight collection, and that was the genesis of Batman variant action figures, and they all sold like hotcakes at a maple syrup festival. If you're into collecting the foreign Spin Master figures, these are just going to be par for the course, so I'm sure you can add them to your regular collection of figures that Spin Master has released under the DC license. And if you're a parent, all of these, whether it be the 12 inch figures, Red Hood, the Batman, Nightwing, Black Adam, Dr. Fate, or the 4 inch figures, or even the electronic figures that have an action feature, I definitely think that these figures have Christmas written all over them. The small ones can be stocking stuffers, and the larger ones can be wrapped and placed right under the tree. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Big thanks again to Spin Master for sending me these boxes, and I'll see you again with the next one. Toodaloo!